It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're doing something different. Um, I want to do a review of the current or mo the most recent Iron Man number one by Marvel Comics. Um, and I, I don't Re I, I've never done reviews before on this channel. Those of you who've been following the channel know that. Um, and I, I don't do reviews, number one, because I figure, who cares what I think? Um, you know, I mean, it's just it's just my opinion at the end of the day. Uh, but number two, um, to be honest, I don't really read many comics. I, I don't have the time to read many comics. And I also, uh, I just don't enjoy many comics. Um, uh, I love the comic book medium. Let me be clear on that. I love comic books. Contemporary modern comics, I believe, have many deep-rooted problems, uh, and we may uh, touch upon some of those um, uh, in my review here. Um, in fact, I could probably do a whole video on the problems with modern comics, uh, but that's a whole other conversation. Um, Iron Man, number one. Now, the reason why this kind of compelled me to do uh, to do this video, I've always been an Iron Man fan, um, to be honest, and, and I'll say this throughout this video too. I haven't been able to read an Iron Man comic in many, many years because uh, I just haven't enjoyed them. I just haven't enjoyed the direction that they've taken with the character. Uh, but this seemed to be a fresh start, sort of. Uh, the armor was redesigned, and we'll talk about that. So I figured, you know, let, let me give it a shot. Let me let me jump on. So, um, and let me just say, you know, this is going to be a review. So if you're, if you're spoiler-phobic, um, get the hell off the internet. Uh, you know, it's, it's a review. I'm going to talk about the comic and I'm going to talk about what's inside. So if you don't want to know what's, what's, what happens in the book, um, keep in mind, this book is already on number two. So, uh, it, it's not like it's a brand spanking new issue, but if you're afraid to hear details of the book, get out, you just, just don't watch anymore. Uh, cause I'm going to talk about what's inside. All right. First thing, um, the art. Uh, the art is what it is, okay? And, and when I say that, um, what I mean is it may not be your cup of tea. It, it is not mine. Um, it is a lot of uh, what looks to be digitally traced art. Uh, you know, stuff is called up on Google and it looks like it's traced that way, especially the machinery, the cars and stuff. Um, so things look very precise. They look like what they are. Um, I find it a little sterile and lifeless. Um, I really wish there was more real, honest to God, pencil on paper drawing. Um, you know, stuff looks like what it is. I mean, you know, that, that's unmistakably a car. Uh, these are people we're looking at. Um, but there isn't much style or power or um, flair to it. it. It all just looks kind of, you know, I mean, there we go. It, it looks like cars, but I, I would be so much happier with uh, an imperfect car that was, you know, really drawn and, and pounded out by, uh, by uh, you know, an artist like Jack Kirby, Neil Adams, guys, guys who, who really drew for a living. Uh, again, you know, maybe you really are happy with this stuff. It tells a story. I'll say that. I mean, that that part's clear. Um, but I don't, I don't dig it. The other, the other part about the art is um, the, the coloring is mud. It is, and these pages aren't the best example of it. But there comes a point where, when the lights go out, it is just dark. Everything is just dark. Uh, this page, for example, here we have. And uh, watch out for those spoiler warnings. Here we go. We see the Iron Man armor for the first time. Um, the new the new design. Uh, and it's just dark. It's just really, really dark on these pages. Um, and in fact, you know, and I know much of this story takes place at night. 
But throughout, the book is just dark. It's just muddy. Um, you know, even, even a, a story set at night, a, an Iron Man comic book, this isn't Moon Knight, this isn't Dracula, an Iron Man comic should be bright. It should pop. Um, this book does not. I mean, here, here's some pages in broad daylight. I don't know if the, if the camera is picking it, this up as good as it should, but it's just, it's just dark. Um, I keep saying that a lot, but, uh, you know, here's a, here's a good panel where it's just, you know, two people sitting there, an interview going on, and it, it's all just browns. It's just mud. Um, so, turn the lights on, uh, explore the rainbow, explore the color palette. Uh, so that's, that's what I think about the art. Now, in terms of story, uh, the story is a mixed bag. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, the first few pages, I was wondering what is going on. Um, I mean, this first page where you're outside of some building, there's this little girl uh, with a violin. I didn't know what that was about. Uh, we're dropped into Tony or Iron Man fighting um, Terax, of, of all people. Um and that fight's over in, in two pages. I don't know what that's about either. I don't know why Tony would be fighting uh, Tyrax. Um, but there he is. Um, throughout, we get the snippets of Tony's uh, Iron Man, Iron Man's Twitter feed, um, and, and some of his tweets and responses to his tweets. A little too hip for me, a little too, uh, um, I, 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 don't, I don't know what the word is, but just unnecessary, I guess, at the bottom, uh, at the end of it. Now, the first few pages were just bouncing from one day to the next where Tony is, Tony Stark is just doing stuff. Um, you know, he sells out his interests in his company. Uh, he moves to New York, he buys a new car, he, he, goes to a, he goes to a drag race in his new car, um, breaks up with the Wasp, uh, I guess they've been dating. Um, no reason is given for any of this stuff. Um, and, uh, and on one level, that's a little refreshing because, you know, you know most, most contemporary comics tend to over-explain everything. Um... This one sure doesn't, but uh, also not much reason is given. Uh, Tony goes to this, uh, he, he, he drag races with his new car, and he goes up against this deaf racer. Yeah, he's deaf, he can't hear. Um, I'm guessing this, this deaf guy is being set up uh, as a new recurring character. Um, so I, I'm guessing that's the whole point of these few pages. Um, to be honest, by this point, I'll be very frank. By this point, I'm starting to skim. I'm starting to skim these pages because um, uh, it, it's, you know, the dialogue is really tough to take. The dialogue is a little too, tries too hard. It tries too hard to be hip, to be snarky and funny, and it just comes across as... Uh, kind of unnatural. Uh, Tony throws this party, uh, and for some reason, everybody at the party is somebody he doesn't like, and he ends up frying their phone. Um, I don't know why. Uh, maybe, maybe that is explained, and I just missed it, because again, at this point, I'm skimming. Um, but there you go. Uh, so, he whips out the new armor, now, uh, and I'll say about the new armor, it's a good enough design. It's, it's, it's refreshing. There's a simplicity to it. Uh, it really harkens back to the classic 1980s design, uh, that design of the 70s and 80s, which is w w pro probably what most people think of when they think of Iron Man. Um, those headlights all over his body are a bit much. That's a little overdone. Um... It's a shame we get this page, which, of course, harkens back to uh, Tales of Suspense, 
uh, number 39, the cover where Iron Man is putting on his armor bit by bit. Um, but there isn't really a dramatic reason for this. You know, this, this should have been the moment where bad guys are attacking and the world needs Iron Man and he puts on the armor. But at this point in the story, he's ducked out of uh, the party, out of his own party with Hellcat. And um, he's just showing her the, ar the armor. And then they go out for a spin. Um, I will say, on the plus side, points for using Hellcat. And not only do they use Hellcat, but, you know, it's Hellcat in all her classic glory. Uh, there's no attempt to remake the costume or anything like that. It's, it's Hellcat. I don't know where Hellcat's been, but I'm glad to see her in her classic form here. Uh, oh, here, here we have... This scene, I just wanted to tear the book up. Um, there's this whole unnecessary kick in the nuts conversation where Tony Stark and Hellcat are just having one of these conversations where Tony Stark is wondering who he is, who am I? Um, I hate that stuff. You know, th this is Iron Man, it's not Hamlet. I don't know why he, he would do this sort of thing. Um, then we finally get to some superhero action with uh, the unicorn uh, of all people. Points points for using unicorn. Uh, he's a classic Iron Man villain. And brother, he looks classic here too. It's, it's unicorn in all his unicorn glory. The fight, not terrific. Uh, no real thought was given to the pacing. They just kind of trade uh, light blast back and forth uh and then you know he gets caught at the end um uh and that was it that, that's that's the book um you, you know neither iron man or unicorn are particularly clever in this fight they they just trade uh blasts until hellcat kicks unicorn in the face um and then iron man gets struck by lightning from somewhere which is not explained um, presumably that's part of the ongoing storyline. So that's the book. Overall, um, points for uh, an honest attempt at trying to make Iron Man accessible and uh, fresh and, and bringing him back to basics somewhat. Uh, but on the downside, the art was not very good. Um, and uh, the, the story was a bit of a drag and the dialogue kind of hard to take. So overall, I, I, was, I was almost giving it a, a 2.5 out of 5, but I think it, it's, it's a 2. It's a 2. The, the art just really drags it down. Um, so those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Uh, let me know what you think about reviews. Uh, should I do them or do I not know what I'm talking about? Um, please, if you enjoyed this, click like. If you didn't, I guess you could give me a thumbs down. Um, if there are other books, uh, I'll be honest, I may not take, uh, take up the recommendation because, again, I, you know, most modern comics are, are just a, a finger down the throat to read. Um, but, I, you know, if something piques my interest, I may give it a shot. And if enough people want to hear it, I may also give it a shot. So let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, again, click like, subscribe, and uh, keep coming back. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.